Hey, welcome to Tighten Up Today. It's your boy CD back again with another episode. Today, I'm on Rumor Patrol. Tell me why unrestricted free agents, quarterbacks, both Tyler Hankey and Josh Johnson were working out for the Titans prior to the trade deadline. We'll answer that question and then we'll dive into this week's preview between the Titans and the Carolina Panthers at Carolina. But no need to delay. Let's get down to it. All right, welcome back. So while we're Josh Johnson and Taylor Hankey both working out for the Tennessee Titans prior to the trade deadline, I think it's painfully obvious that the Titans were either in cahoots trying to move Mariota or we were willing to take offers to move Mariota before the trade deadline to press on for the rest of the season. There's a few reasons or a couple reasons why I think this is a bad idea. First off, complete bad juju. Mariota is our backup quarterback. You already sat him and said you're not the starting franchise quarterback. He's dealing with that. I think he's doing well. Now you put him as the backup quarterback. He knows the offense as well as Tannehill at least. We know that he's all right as a quarterback. He's our backup. Don't mess with that. If you trade him away, you bring in one of these two guys who have to learn the offense, figure this out. And then if Tannehill goes down, they have to throw these people in to determine what our playoff outcome is looks like or it might even be in the playoffs and what our season ends up being based off of these guys we just picked up in week nine that's one thought process and the other thought process to be honest with you Tannehill I'm still not sold on him he had a great first week performance against the Chargers stat line was good he moved the ball good passing but yes last week against the Bucks. Offensively speaking, we were still inconsistent. Tons of three and outs, as I told you before. I just don't. I'm not sold on it yet. My sister, again, said four weeks. It's been two, and I'm giving him about 50-50 right now. We got two more weeks. He needs to show that he is the man. This week will be a perfect way to start. Now, that's one side. The other side is, historically speaking, the Titans have not done right by quarterbacks on the way out the door. Now, I've been a Titans fan again since 96. We've had a couple or a lot of quarterbacks, but only a few quarterbacks that were even in the realm of franchise quarterbacks. One that comes to mind is Vince Young. Vince Young had a good winning record. Statistically, he was all right above average. He was fine. I liked him, to be honest with you, as a winner. Moving the ball, getting us wins, doing things. He got hurt. Carry, scary Carry came in to handle business. But when it came time for him to leave, it was like we just shunned him. Jeff Fisher obviously didn't want him from the beginning and let everybody know it as he basically booted him out the door. Steve Air McNair, number nine, the quarterback we love, took us to the Super Bowl. Co-MVP, he was not the co. He should have won it by himself. Anyways, co-MVP, he, we just locked the doors and threw away the key. Try to come in. We wouldn't even let him come in to get a glass of water from the water fountain in the bathroom. We told him to kick rocks. Later on, he ends up going off to the Ravens and his career spirals off. He ends up dying. And my boy Lund, as much as I hate to say this, has a theory that the Titans are cursed. We have a quarterback curse on us based off of how we treated Steve McNair whenever he left. Since he left, you know the quarterbacks that we've had. Nothing worth writing home about by any means. So... Right now, we're, we're setting ourselves up to do another quarterback toss to the side with Mariota. We've already benched him. I don't think we did right by him over this entire time that he's been there. We're obviously going to let him go and free him. That's cool. Just do it the right way. Do it the right way. He's still on our roster. He's all over all of these websites. We got him on videos everywhere. Do right by Mariota so that he don't hurt us at a later point in time. So... Done with that, moving forward with this week's preview of the Panthers. New vibe. One thing, as I'm going through, doing my research, breaking down this preview, I noticed one thing. Carolina has a decent record. At 5-3, and three, I'm like, okay, they look like they're doing all right. But I stop and I say, hmm, they're not looking statistically as good as I thought they were doing. They got a couple wins under their belt, big wins, but... I 
I'm just not seeing it on the numbers. So let's dive into the numbers. So Carolina's total offense, they're 23rd in the league in total offense at 335 yards or 335.4 yards a game. Not too good. 27th on third down percentage, third down conversion percentage at 32%. The third in penalties, which is good. They're disciplined, only having 30 penalties on offense thus far. The 26th in time of possession with less than half of the game having the ball at 28 minutes and 13 seconds. Now, that total offense has to go against our um, Tennessee Titans defense. Our defense, as we know, is the heart and soul of our Titans football team. Now, our defense, a little bit of an upgrade, not so much in yardage from last year or from last week, but we are currently fourth in points per game, still with 16.9 points a game. We're ninth in yards per game, giving up 335.6 yards a game. We're third in turnover differential, which is amazing. The the pan not the Panthers, but the um, Patriots are still way ahead of everybody else right now from a defensive standpoint, killing. But our turnover differential is plus seven. So we're getting the ball and we're not turning it over. That's good. Now we're sixth in third down conversion percentage with 33% holding our opponents from um, actually converting. So 66% of, 66% of the time. They are getting off the field on third down, which is amazing at this point in time. The 31st in penalties on defense. Again, this is a disciplined team that I thought was a disciplined team, but now it's this disciplined, not so disciplined team that we're working with. The 31st in penalties right now is 69. We're 30th in penalty yardage at 572 yards given up in penalties by yellow hankies. Now, Carolina's pass offense, again, not anything to write home about. They're 28th in completion percentage at 59.8%. That's not good at all. They're 27th in the league um, with yards per completion. The yards per completion are 6.6 .6 yards per completion. 25th in the league in yards per game at 205.9. They're currently 27th in the league and passing touchdowns with seven. Again, I'll take you back. Their current their current record is four and three. I think I said five and something earlier. They've only played seven games this year. They've thrown seven touchdowns over seven games. They're currently seventh in the league in interceptions with only four, which is good, but it seems like they're not passing the ball often anyway. So they're 29th in the league in explosive passes. That's any passes over 20 yards or more. They only have 16 on the year. 23rd in sacks given up, and they've given up 23 on the year. The Tennessee Titans now, the pass defense, again, top 10 pass defense or top 10 defense, period, but top 10 pass defense, especially the completion percentage. We're 10th. We're at 63.1% uh, completion percentage that we're giving up to quarterbacks. We're fifth in the league in interceptions with eight picks thus far. Tenth in the league in sacks. We currently have 22 quarterbacks dropped down at this point. Um, eighth in passer rating at 86.5. Carolina rush offense, pretty good. Um, they got this guy, number 22, Christian McCaffrey. They call him Run CMC. He's really good. We're talking about an MVP candidate. He does it all. Um, one trick pony, he is not. He can catch, he can run, he can even do pump returns, kick returns. He did that in college at Stanford. This guy could do it all, but their running game is good. They're currently third in the league right now in yards per carry at 5.2. They're tenth in the league in yards per game on the ground with 129.6. They're sixth in the league in explosive runs. Again, runs over 20 yards with six on the year. That's almost one a game that they're running for 20 yards plus. Now the Titans rush defense will have to stop that, that rush offense of the Panthers and they are ready to do so. Currently eighth in the league in yards per carry with 3.9. Fourth in the league in touchdowns, giving up on the ground with three. They are currently eighth in the league with expo or in explosive plays on the ground with only giving up four explosive plays throughout the season thus far. That's good. All right, so now our offense gets to say as well. So when we have the ball in our hand, our total offense right now, points-wise, not looking good. Inconsistent, as I said before. It's just not, 
what we want it to be at this point in time. We still got some work to do, but we're currently 26th in the league in points per game at 18 and a half points. We need to be up 24 points or better to really be a consistent offense and doing anything, but right now we're 26th. We're 27th in total offense with a little less than 300 yards per game at 299. We're 28th in the league in fumbles with 14 fumbles. Now, the positive of that is, luck if you if you will, is that we recovered 12 of those 14 fumbles that we've let go. Another thing too is, last the last episode I told you guys that, hey, you know, Derrick Henry doing great things. I'm not going to harp on his fumbling. He actually leads the league in fumbles. He just only lost one. That was the first one that he lost last week. So hold the dang ball. We'll get on to that. So 24th and third down conversion percentage at 33%. That is not good. It's the same percentage as what we're giving up on defense. 33%, one out of every three times we're coming up on third down, we're leaving on fourth down. And a lot of these times too, as I said yesterday, are three and outs. So it's not good. So Carolina's total defense, their points or their yards, they're giving up the 24th most points in the league with 26.3. They're currently 7th in the league in turnover differential with a plus 4 turnover differential. That's that's solid at this point. Anything that's in a plus is good. So, 6th in fumbles. They've recovered 6 of 10. So, whenever the ball does hit the ground, they do tend to get it. So, there's 6th in fumbles recovered with 6 at this point in time. So, we can't let 14 go, or obviously not one game. But we can't let these balls hit the ground because... They are showing that they are ball hawks, and they will scoop that ball up and move. So and that's another thing, too. Is we, there's one more fumble that they didn't include in the statistics is the current fumble. Just keep that in mind, but pressing on. Titans passing offense, similar to the, the regular rushing offense, we're towards the bottom. So 25th in yards per game at 205.9. Now, again, it's a little bit or a lot more of Mariota with a little sample size of Tannehill mixed in, but 205.9 yards per game through the air. Um, Seventh in interceptions with four total. Two of those interceptions were from Mariota in that Broncos game. Briefly, prior to that, he hadn't thrown one all season. Since Tannehill has come in, he's thrown now two. All right, with 31st, second from last in sacks, as we've given up 34 sacks for our quarterback. Not good, O-line. So they were 27th in, in passer rating with um, 83.9, still again in the bottom side of it. So our, our offensive production has just been horrible. We've had a couple flashes, as we said. Atlanta, awesome. Cleveland, awesome. Everything in between has been mediocre to bad at best. Carolina's passing defense, on the other hand, is stellar. They're currently fourth when it comes down to passing yards per completion at 6.4 yards per completion. They're fifth in the league, top five when it comes down to passing yardage. They only give up 215.1 yards per game. Eighth in the league in passing touchdowns, nine touchdowns given up through the air. Second in the league in interceptions, 10 balls picked off for the Panthers. We have to be careful with that ball. They're ninth in the league when it comes out to explosive pass plays. They've only given up 23 throughout the year. Again, 20 or more yards through the air on these passing plays. Only 23 throughout the year. Currently second in the league when it comes to sacks. They've gotten 30. We've given up a ton, and they get a ton. That's not a good mix. Fourth in the league when it comes out to quarterback passer rating as they've given up only 76.7 is a quarterback passer rating that the defense gives up. So, a lot of run, that can be done. Not too much pass, that can be done. We'll discuss that whenever we conclude. So the Titans rush, their offense, we go out there, no different, mediocre. We're 24th in the league in yards per carry at 3.7 yards. We're 27th in the league in explosive runs. We have two explosive runs of 20 yards or better throughout the season over seven game span. Now I will say, just in last game alone, there was like three or four big breaks where a couple of them had to get come back for holding. So they don't take that in consideration. But penalties, obviously we can't have penalties. That hurts us in the long run. So Carolina's rush defense, again, 
a little bit of an issue here. They're 31st in the league in yards per carry, giving up five yards per carry. They're 27th in the league in yards per game, giving up 135.1 yards per game. 32nd, dead last in the league when it comes down to rushing touchdowns. They're giving up 12 touchdowns on the ground. 31st in the league on explosive runs at 10 on the season. That's more than one, about one and a half a game that they're giving up for 20 yards or better on the ground. Now, Carolina special teams and our special teams, Carolina special teams specifically, punt return, they're in the middle of the in the middle of the road at 14th at seven and a half yards per punt return. Our special teams, again, I would argue that it's our second best team behind the um, defense. Our special teams were 11th when it comes to kickoff return average at 23.1. Our field goal percentage is second to last with 58 percent. So we're 31st in the league. Net punt average is seventh in the league with 42.8. Brett Kern, keep doing your thing. And of course, we're first when it comes to putting our opponent inside the 20 yard line with 26. And that's by a large amount. So the key players to this game in our matchup against the Panthers is pretty simple. For us, actually a little bit more difficult. The Titans, we have a lot of Average players are at least putting up average numbers on offense. So I went away from the offensive side and just went to the defense. By far our best team. The best player on our defense right now, Logan Ryan. He's completely a standout. If we would have had to put a defensive MVP on our team, it's him bar none. At this moment in time, amongst all other DBs, he's currently ninth in tackles with 51. He's first in the league in sacks with three and a half amongst DBs, as well as interceptions. He's third, um, and that's a tie that he currently has three interceptions. Kevin Byard also has three interceptions for our Titans. He's currently first in forced fumbles with three on the season as well. So there's a lot to be had there. Now, the Panthers, they have a player, and we already know who it is. This man is amazing, just amazing. Christian McCaffrey is their key player. Right now in the NFL, he's second in attempts per a game with 20.1. He's second in yards per game at 105 yards each game. He's third in yards per carry at 5.2. He's second in the league in touchdowns with eight and third in the league in explosive runs with five already, almost one a game, and he has not fumbled all season. When it comes down to his team, he's currently the team leader in receptions with 39 and he's second on his team with 343 yards receiving. He does it all, like I said earlier. So the overall breakdown, I had to go ahead and look at the entire game, how this whole thing looks prior to kickoff. The Panthers can run the ball, obviously. They have a hard time passing the ball, but they can stop the pass, but they have a hard time stopping the run. So a little bit of hot and cold on their side, on defense and on offense. For us, it's a little bit of the same, but different. We're having issues with consistency. That's on offense-wise and on defense for an entire game. Still, every single game, we seem to give up a huge chunk play at an inopportune time. But penalties, period, on defense and offense have been hurting us, and the discipline needs to get right. The consistency, the inconsistency on the offense and the three and outs have to stop. But we're average at running the ball. We're average to below average at passing the ball. Our offense is just not good. Let's just be honest with it, just not good. On the other end, defense is stellar. We're top 10 across the board. Points, yards, if it's in the air, if it's on the ground, it doesn't matter. Our special teams is, I would say, solid, especially the punt side, Brett Kern, shout out. But Cody Parkey, He's been doing his thing, but overall, as a team, we're shooting 58% when it comes down to field goals. Well, that concludes Week 9's preview of the Tennessee Titans at Carolina Panthers. Join me tomorrow as I bring you the initial injury and practice report for our squad. And if you like, love, and want more of the Tennessee Titan of today's show, show me some love. Click the like button, subscribe, click the notifications bell, get notified for tomorrow's update. And before you leave, Ask yourself one question. Why tighten up tomorrow 
Well, you could tighten up today. 